Yeah! Hello everyone, my name is Lightning, and today I'm going to be showing off my CD collection. Now the way I'm going to be doing this is I will give the artist or the group's name one time and then I will list off their CDs. It will be a little confusing whenever it's like their first album and their first album is the name of their group or themselves or their stage name or however you want to put it. So yeah, that's going to be a little confusing but we'll just roll with it. So starting us off is Lady Annabellum's first CD, Lady Annabellum. Need You Now, which surprisingly Need You Now is the song that got me into Lady Annabellum. And it was a Gun and Wing AMV and that was an awesome AMV I saw. If you don't know what an AMV is, it's an anime music video where you take anime scenes and try to make it fit into a song. Up next we have Own the Night. Golden, 747 Deluxe Edition, Heartbreak, On This Winter's Night, that's all the Lady Annabellum CDs, so we're moving on to Rihanna with Good Girl Gone Bad Reloaded, I never got loud, or her first two, or I'm still missing a few. I do have Loud, but it's a digital version of it, so we're not going to be counting Loud, but I do own it. But the next one we have is Rated R. Talk That Talk. Up next we have Snow Patrol's Greatest Hits. Pentatonics, That's Christmas to Me. Up. Next up we have Aaron Carter with his first album, Aaron Carter. He was very young back then. Gosh, that... Jeez. Come get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Aaron's party. Come get it. I think this included a poster that was attached to the thing and I never took it out. Oh, Aaron. Another earthquake. Too good to be true. This one confuses me because it's uh, got different songs on here. This one confuses me. I don't understand it. It has songs from it has songs from like these three, I think. I think. No, it's just from these two. I don't see any from this one. So yeah, this confuses me because it includes songs from here. I'm very confused by it. I don't, I don't understand it. And finally, the most requested hits. Which this is basically just a greatest hits CD. But that Too Good To Be True one confuses me to this day still. I don't understand it. Up next we have Jesse McCartney's Beautiful Soul. Linkin Park Hyper Theory. Meteora. I think that's how that's pronounced. Then we have the Jay-Z and Linkin... Now we have the Jay-Z and Linkin Park Collision Course. Which included not only a DVD but the CD as well. It's so yeah, I also have a movie on here. Up next we have Backstreet Boys Millennium. Which, out of the two... I don't really think I listen to the boy bands that much. But I think I did prefer Backstreet Boys over NSYNC. Although this was my brother's and I kind of took it from me. When he didn't no longer like boy bands. So I'm like, yeah, no, this is mine now, thank you. I will take your boy band CD. Also had like another Backstreet Boys CD. I don't remember the name of it. But I don't remember where I placed it. I gotta find it. I've had it in like a random case. Like a blank case or something like that. But yeah, I don't remember what I did with it. Moving on though. We have Shania Twain. The Woman and Me. This is as country as I get. <laughs> No, I think Gretchen Wilson is this country as I get, but I don't own the Gretchen Wilson CD. My mom does. 
And we're not concluding her CDs. These are my CDs, not my mom's CDs. Moving on. Up next we have, come on over. Up. That's just legit the name of it. It's up. There's actually two versions of this. There's a country version and a pop version. I always listen to the pop version. Up next we have her greatest hits. And that's all of Shania Twain. Moving on we have... We go from country to rap. Okay. But we have Eminem's Curtain Call. The hits. So I'm, I think this is his greatest hits CD. But it was the edited version that you got at Walmart. So yeah, it's edited. I no longer buy edited versions of songs. I always get the unedited version because they're more fun. I wanted my hair to be like it. Up next we have Usher's Confessions, which I remember having a different version of this and then I ended up with this one because it had like extra songs on it. I am i don't know why we went through so many different versions of the Usher CD, but my brother and I did. I'm very confused. I don't even know what happened to the original Usher Confessions CD. I don't even remember what it looked like, but I don't know where it went to. Why do I have this? I'm very confused. I have a 50 cent CD. It's The Massacre. I don't know why I have this. I don't even remember buying this. But it's here. So... Yeah. I don't really listen to 50 cent that much. There were a few songs on here that I like, but... There was like three, maybe four I liked. And moving on to the final group, we have In Sync's No Strings Attached. I said attached weird. And finally, Celebrity. Alright, so that has been my CD collection. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for future videos. We may look into it. If you want to talk with us or check out our social media all the links are in the description below so be sure to check us out there you never know what we're going to be on more but it's most likely going to be facebook because i don't feel like i was turning on my ipod to check the accounts and subscribe if you're new around here i have been lightning and until next time i'll see you later steady standing empty handed while my opponents advance with a stance of raising their cannons up I understand it's kinda crazy how it sounds You brought my feelings to the ground, yet I still hold it down. Why? Cause I'm the type to fight for light without a light And strike of hope left and love life is hopeless A cold lie reveals the truth when it melts So in the end I stay true to myself